was really tough. Especially when the sugar levels uh, hypo, as we call it, when sugar level went down while playing the game against South Africa or against India in the middle of the pitch, you had to get out, run outside, have chocolate or have glucose, jelly beans or whatever was available. But I was learning. But lifestyle uh, didn't change for first couple of years and then it changed. And from last, I think 12 years, my lifestyle had properly changed. You know, for any diabetic, it takes time because like I said, you know, if you have a pain or ache, you go to a doctor. In diabetes, there's no pain. So most of the people just tend to ignore it. But I think what I've learned over the years as a diabetic that as long as you check your sugar levels yourself whenever you can, now THB is there, but uh, uh, you will understand uh, diabetes more. So eat healthy, eat early. Okay, I'm 20 years old might not understand where I'm coming from or 25 year old. But if you're over 35 guys, you have to get your lifestyle. I proved uh, 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 wrong, a lot of people wrong in our part of the world, in subcontinent where we all think that somehow if you have diabetes, your life is over. It's not. As long as you check your sugar, sugar levels, you listen to your doctor, and especially with THB now on board, they can monitor your sugar levels wherever you are in the world. And doctor can give you a call, okay, you're eating this much, nutrition can tell you, less carbs. And obviously, I, I also, I'm being any other diabetic, you, you learn something new every day. So yeah, in the beginning, it was really, really tough psychologically, but eventually I got a snap out of it.